watching this video, you have already taken the first step to improving your life. You've built up a mindset that says to you, I'm not going to be part of a rat race. I'm going to be breaking out of this. I'm going to be doing my own thing. And well done to you. Ladies and gents, this video is going to be about four things you can do to get ahead of 99% of people, to get ahead and to get out of the rat race. So if you are looking to up your life, if you're looking to break out of the rat race, stay tuned. I would like to encourage you to subscribe if you're new and please violate the post notifications bell to make sure you stay up to date with the content that I drop. Let's get the ball rolling. First and probably the most essential key to breaking outside of that rat race and to get ahead of 99% of people is to improve your self-discipline. Without self-discipline, the rest of your efforts are going to be in vain because you require self-discipline to adopt this mindset in the first place. You require the self-discipline to sit down every day and chase your goals. You require the self-discipline to make sacrifices towards your goals. So self-discipline is everywhere. When it comes to success, self-discipline is the strongest and the largest pillar you will ever have. And the key to improving your self-discipline is through small changes in your daily habits, right? And I spoke about this numerous times, but we can go through countless methods. We can go through waking up earlier. We can go through meditation. We can go through auto-suggestion. We can go through positive self-talk. There are lots and lots of simple ways that people kind of underestimate. And people think, okay, th that's just stupid. I'm not going to do that. That's a pure waste of my time. Did I go wrong? Lost a friend but something like, for example, meditation allows you to focus your energy and to channel your energy into the correct channels where it is needed. Because in order for you to really level up your life and in order for you to get ahead of 99% of people, you have to think kind of on a different level than 99% of the people. You have to have that mindset that differs from the 99% mindset, if I can call it like that. So key is to improve your self-discipline. Start practicing good habits. Start you know, getting up earlier, start meditating, start journaling, start, just start incorporating these small habits and um, give it a week or two, see how it goes. But I promise you, I can guarantee you, you will see an improvement in your overall self discipline. Let's move to step number two. A few moments later. The second step to getting ahead of 99% of the population is to set well-defined goals. I've talked about this also in previous videos. I've told you, Start by setting daily goals, move them to monthly goals, move them to yearly goals, move them to five year goals. So start small when it comes to goals. That's what she said. <laughs> right. And the first and most fundamental thing is the goals on your daily to do list. Are you accomplishing all those goals in a daily to do list? If not, you would have to revise those goals. You would have to revise what could you have done wrong? Could you have managed your time better? But the key is most of the people you see do not have well-defined goals and because they do not have have well-defined goals they end up getting lost they end up wandering their way through life thinking okay what should i do now i've tried this i've tried this i've tried this it's failed and they end up getting lost in the crowd and eventually just becoming part of the very same rat race that they wanted to escape from <laughs> So start by setting your daily goals, four or five daily goals in to-do list, that is all. If you can smash those goals, you can start setting weekly goals. You can start setting monthly goals and smashing those, but work your way up the hierarchy of goals. Did I, did I say that correct? I think it's hierarchy. You want, you, you can do so, you, you do. But anyway, work yourself up the ladder of goals and soon, sooner rather than later, you'll find yourself smashing yearly goals, five year goals, 10 year goals. So the, the process is really, really insane. I, and I do encourage you to set well-defined goals. Let's keep the ball rolling. Now, sticking to your schedule is going to be our third tip for today. I see a lot of people that have this to-do list, it's decorated, it's colorful and everything, but they don't stick to it. Right? They always come up with excuses. Oh, you know what? I didn't have power. Oh, you know what? I got busy watching the series. Those ultimately, you know what? You can try and justify those excuses. But at the end of the day, they are just excuses. Are those excuses going to help you break out uh, of the rat race? Are those excuses going to help you 
get ahead of 99% of people. Is your favorite Netflix series going to allow you to break ahead of 99% of people? And the most obvious answer right there is no. So make sure you stick to your schedule. And I recommend having someone near you holding, yourself, holding you accountable, right? Best friend, sibling, mother, father, whoever it may be. But if they see you slacking, they should tell you, listen, you're slacking, I think you could have done better. And then you sit back and realize and you reflect and you're like, okay, you know what? Excuse me. <sighs> Gross. Now, you need that accountability. The key to sticking to a schedule is accountability, right? Because without accountability, you'll just, you'll have that pretty to-do list on the wall and you'll just end up not following it at all. And that's not how we roll on this channel. That's not what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to stick to your routine because if you can, can have the discipline to stick to the to-do list, you can have the discipline to accomplish bigger things. It is just like that. So make sure you're watching or not. If you're watching, if you're taking, skipping your to-do list to watch this video, that's forgivable because this will help you. But if you are busy watching a Netflix series, stop right now. I, I'm talking about right now and go and get your to-do list done for the day. I appreciate you. I, did I almost say I appreciate you? What the hell? So I encourage you to get those tasks done sooner rather than later, because not only, right, will they encourage you, but they will help to build your discipline in the long run by sticking to your schedule. Let's move to the last point. A few hours later. The final key that you can use to get ahead of 99% of people is to surround yourself with success. Remember, Guys, we often adapt to the environment. We often kind of almost mimic our environment, right? Our environment does have an influence on us. So if you surround yourself with bums, if you surround yourself with poverty, if you surround yourself with mediocrity, guess what? Chances are that you're gonna turn out mediocre. It is just how life works. I see many, many people with so much potential and then just wasting it on, on because of them surrounding themselves with the, you know, the, the wrong crowds, surrounding themselves with the wrong mindset, the wrong environment overall. And sometimes it is unavoidable. Sometimes we are in an environment where it is tough. Sometimes we were born in poverty, right? And that makes it so, so much harder, but it is possible to break out of it if you adopt the correct mindset. If you were born for, let's say for sake, you were born in poverty, right? Go into the classy neighborhoods, have a look around, right? Talk to the people because most successful people are actually really nice people and rude, rude, rude. So most successful people are actually very nice people and they always help lend a helping hand. They'll always be willing to listen and guide you on your path. So just take a step back and surround yourself with that success and take it in. How does it feel to you? And I promise you seeing that amount of success and seeing that amount of money around you will encourage you to step up your game. Ladies and gents, I appreciate you watching this video and I really do hope that you truly take these four points to heart and start incorporating them into your daily routines and into your daily life. Give it a week or two, give it a month or two, but it's 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 uh, the timeline for, for everyone is gonna differ, right? Because we're all unique individuals, we all have different ways of incorporating things. But overall, if you start incorporating these four tips, your life will level up and you will get ahead of 99% of people. Appreciate you watching. Do not forget to smash that subscribe button before you leave and I'll see you in the next one.